Hi everybody, Kevin Glendang with JH Audio. Today we're doing a quick demonstration of how to take an impedance reading uh, using a multimeter and a four pin JH cable. Uh, first thing you wanna do, uh, and this will work on both two pin, four pin, seven pin, anything from us. First thing you wanna do is uh, ensure if you do have a, a cable with uh, base attenuators, make sure that those are cranked all the way open. So the resistors are all the way up, no attenuation occurring. Um, you want to get to your multimeter and put it on the continuity position. Take it two probes, set them against each other. You got noise, you got connectivity. You're all good. Um, because it's a low impedance device, uh, 200 ohm setting is, is su uh, sufficient. That'll get you in that right range. Um, you want to take first probe and address the sleeve portion. Take the second probe and you want to hit the ring and as you can see I'm getting an impedance just above 9 ohms that's my right ear that's the ring side of the, of the TRS onto the left to the tip 9.2 ohms so they're operating perfectly um, both are matching um, if you do see a discrepancy in between what the specification sheet says and what your readings are that's cable loss that's normal um, the, uh, the reading inside the earpiece will differ uh, once you get to the end of the cable. Uh, it's a really, really good way if you, uh, a quick way on the road, quick way in your studio, quick way you know, in your lab, uh, just to see what the components, what, what's happening on the inside. If you do have some failure, you hear something off, the balance differentiates, something like that, it's a, it's a real quick way to check that out. Um, I strongly, strongly suggest doing this uh, before sending any earpieces in. I do it every day at load in, right before sound check, check components, see what's happening. A lot of times we see wax building up into the bores. Uh, the components are operating fine. Uh, so it's a good way to know if you just have some cloggage or, uh, or if you do have driver loss. That's about it. Take care. Thank you.